Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, if you're like me, do you have spring fever? Are you just ready? Are you just, you know, you're just ready for spring. I'm just excited this year. I don't know why, but I'm very excited for spring. So this is going to be a spring hygiene haul and some fragrance you know on the hot thing right now on youtube and tiktok are hygiene videos and so i have been loving watching hygiene videos i've watched them anyway but i've been watching them more clicking on those more than the fragrance videos lately i have just been i've always been into hygiene anyway but it's just a trend now so everywhere i look you know I'm, I'm seeing new videos i'm seeing new videos and it's just fun so this is my little haul because i have for each season i tend that's when i tend to want to try different things or try things that's been on my list for a while so some of these items I've been wanting or missing or just been wanting to try them. So let's get started. I think I'm going to start. I'm looking because I got stuff spread out everywhere. I think I'm going to start with Dove products because I have the most Dove. So I'm going to start with this deodorant. This is the Dove Rose Petals deodorant. Now I haven't smelled any of this stuff and I do pickup orders and that was even and in texas it's probably going to be remaining that way for a long time now till i see how things play out so i saw this i want to say in the fall or winter and i was like okay i put that on my wish list to come back to in the spring i just decided i'm gonna go for it so let's see if i like it oh y'all this is pretty I think if you didn't even like rose, because rose has to be done right for me to like it. This is just soft, very soft, faint, fresh, powdery rose. It's very nice. I like it. I'm ready, y'all. Spring, come on down. Okay, so in my, I believe my empties video, my February empties video, which I will link up above, I mentioned that I have been getting into bar soap. So you all, I, I, I bought a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Cause some of these like this one right here. Okay, this Dove Purely Pampering Coconut Milk and Jasmine Petals. I never saw a body wash in this scent. Or if I did, I never paid any attention to it. And I always saw it in the soap. And I was like, oh, I wish it came in body wash because I wasn't into bar soap. But now that I'm into bar soap, I was like, I'm going to try. Sorry, y'all, this is loud. I'm going to try this and see if I like it. So let's see. Oh, I can, oh, I can smell it from here. love it okay oh that is pretty it's a coconut with an undertone of floral oh it's nice perfect for spring excited about that and so of course you all it's spring i had to get the pink Dove Beauty Bar, I, you know, it's pink. I had to try it because I've been looking at this for years, as I said, but wasn't into soap. This one, I'm not crazy about the scent. It smells, it's, what is this, pink rose, rose? So this is heavy rose. I mean, this is, yeah, this is rose. But I think it will pair well with some of my body washes for the spring. So I'm not mad at it. I don't hate it. Now, would I want to go around with the perfume with this? No. But I think 
starting it off as a base using something else i think it'll all because i believe fragrances mesh and blend and you can just come up with beautiful concoctions so i think this will be uh that for me so i like it and i like this pink y'all let me start with this one too so this is the dove sweet cream and peony so this i was like i'm just gonna wait because it was an eight pack so i found this on amazon in a two pack and i was like i don't want an eight pack soap and this is purple <sighs> this is pretty so I can't wait to pair this soap and this soap, have a pink and purple bar soap in my shower. <laughs> I can't wait. That is gonna be so cute. So let's continue with the bar soap. I only have two more y'all. And this is the Dove Calming Oatmeal and Rice Milk. And I just got this because it's new for one. And like I said, I've been watching all these hygiene videos. And also because I think it will, I just think it will be good for my skin. I really do. The oat, oat is good anyway, oatmeal for your skin. So I was really interested in this. And it's some more that I want to get. But I was like, okay, Shaughnessy, you need to exercise, self-control, use some of these, and then you can get some more. Or if you, who wants to? This is a fresh but milky. What is this? A rice milk? Oh, yes. Ooh. I like all of these so far. And so, in the times we're living in with what's going on in the world, I was like, I have to get the antibacterial duo. And I, oh, I was interested in antibacterial things for the body, but usually they're so drying, like Dial. I can't do Dial. It, it's just dries me out, strips me bare. I just can't. And I don't like that feeling. So I was thinking with Dove, and this says protects from, protects skin from dryness while removing 99% of bacteria. So let's see how this one smells. So I didn't think this soap would um, dry me out. So I'm so excited to try this. Oh, this smells good. This is just your nice, clean, soapy soap smell. <laughs> Very nice. So let's see if the body wash smells the same. It does, maybe a little creamier. But yeah, this is just your nice, basic, clean scent. So, <sighs> I'm glad I got that. So, I have been missing the Dove Body Polish. And that's when you know something, you really like something, because as you can see, I am a, I'm a product junkie, but I think I'm a controlled one because I'll get to a, a point, I'm like, no more. And that point is probably way longer and more products than other people, but I always get to a point where I'm like, okay, you know, no, Shaughnessy. And that's why you haven't seen Victoria and Bath and Body Works hauls for me, even though it's beautiful things coming out of Interstitia. I feel like I, I, I spent enough at SAS and, and I needed to just take a step back and enjoy what I have. And I know some people wanted me to review, I'm sorry, I'm going off on a little tangent, to review different things, but you know, I want to do and provide content that's good for you, but I also have to do what's good for me. And I just don't want so much that I have to go buy this container and that container. That I just don't want that. So right now, that's why I'm taking a little break as you see, I haven't taken a break from everything, okay? Yeah, it is me, y'all. I can't do it. So, as I said, I've been missing the body polish. And the one in particular I was missing was the pomegranate seeds and shea butter. And I said, this is 
pink. Oh my goodness, it's perfect for spring. A good reason to repurchase it because I've had this one before. And I was hoping it would be all swirly and pretty, but mine is to the side because I've been having it in the bag. Oh, smells so good. So good. And so I have a body scrub from Pink that I think the consistency is supposed to be like this, but I hate that scrub. And I'll talk more about that later, probably in an empties video. I just don't like it. This scrub, oh, it just, it softens. It's not a scrub, like, oh, it's just getting it all off. This is one I would use every day. And I know some people say you shouldn't exfoliate every day. Some people say it's perfect to exfoliate. There's always anything in this world you're going to have people saying it's good and it's bad. So you need to learn your skin and learn what works for you. This is one I can use every day and it does not irritate me. So it softens my skin, makes it glowy and shiny, and that's how I like my skin to look. So I missed it and I got this one. I got the brown sugar and coconut butter. This is new, so I decided, first I didn't get it, then I was watching videos and it was selling out everywhere and people couldn't find it and people were hunting for it. Cause I was like, this isn't really spring. <laughs> so, but I decided to go ahead and get it because it was a strawberry kiwi one from Dove that I wanted so bad, couldn't, and then I can't, couldn't find it anywhere. So I said, you know what, Sean, see, especially during these pandemic times, I have noticed that products, they get out of stock, especially hygiene products right now, because like I said, it's the, it, it's the hot thing to do right now on YouTube and TikTok, that things sell out like that, and then it's taking longer for things to be restocked than usual. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and get it. This is just a nice... Yeah, coconut brown sugar, like a fresh but warm, sweet scent. I mean, it's nice, but I, I don't, I don't think it's worth losing your mind over like some people have. But it's nice. I'm glad I have it because I know I'm going to use it. And so I decided to get the exfoliating body polish in Crush Macadamia and Rice Milk because this is one I had been wanting to try, and like I said. Things are selling out and they're not restocking quickly at all. So, ooh, now this one is all smooth and perfect. So let's see. Oh, this smells like the soap. This smells like this. Oh, they're gonna pair so well together. So, like that. And like I said, since it's hard to find things and I've been missing and craving the Dove body polishes and I do use them every day, usually. This is the Collodial Oatmeal and Calendula Oil. I hope I'm pronouncing those words correctly. Okay. I'm glad I didn't get the soap in this because I almost did just to match, but then I was reading reviews on, I don't know, I think Walmart, because I couldn't find this on the Target website. And people were, I think it got two stars, the body wash to this, because they were going, woo y'all, don't get it. This is not an appealing scent to me. Like it's not horrible, but if this were a lotion or something, I would return it because, you know, that sticks to my, your, your body. This I'm washing off and I think, I, I wanna try it because of the oatmeal. Because like I said, oatmeal is good for your skin. So I will not be getting the soap in this. And let's see, oh, so now they have where they rate the body polish on here. On the new ones, I don't see it on the old ones. So this says this is a gentle exfoliation and this is a deep exfoliation. So I guess they have different levels now. So we're gonna see, maybe this is one I can use every day then. So my favorite one, I have to say, 
It's, ooh, I think my favorite is still the pink one, the pomegranate, and then this is my second favorite. The other two, I could definitely do without this one for the smell, but we shall see how it performs. So those were all the Dove products. I'm trying to see what else do I have, like a lot of one brand. So let's do the OGX. So OGX is blowing up on TikTok. So on TikTok trickles down to uh, YouTube and there you go. Now I had the coffee one that I fell in love with, that body wash. And I've always seen these and I wanted to try them. But I'm like I said, I'm the type I try to use up so much before I allow myself to buy some something else. Well, this time, because things are just selling out and not restocking and I can't find them, I said, you know, to heck with that. <laughs> it's, I want these and it's getting harder and harder to find them. So I'm going to go with the one I've been using. This is the Hydrating Moisture Plus Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash Decadent Aroma. Y'all, this, at first, ooh, we got one of those. At first, I was like, yo, this is not that serious. But the more I use it, it just, oh, it smells so good. Vanilla cream, like heavy vanilla cream frosting. So good. And it's got a warmth to it when it's in, in the shower. And, you, oh, it's just a beautiful, luxurious experience, okay? Now, this, I wouldn't say necessarily spring, but vanilla is universal. It can be year round depending on your preferences. Now, I don't tend to wear very sweet fragrances, especially going into summer, but for spring and summer with this, I would think if I'm craving sweetness, I could use this in the shower to start and then build from there. So I'm glad I have this one. Okay. And this is one I've been looking at for ever and i decided to just go ahead and get it and that is the rose water and pink salt i have not smelled this i have been looking at this for years because look at it y'all it's pink this is just shaughnessy so it took me forever to find somewhere where this was in stock so i was like okay i hope i like it because i've heard mixed reviews Okay, I do like this. To me, this is, it says rose water and pink sea salt, but I get like a fruity, tangy, kind of tart candy smell. That, that's what I get from this. So I cannot wait to use it. And I'm just glad I have it. Look at that pink beautifulness. Okay, the last uh, body wash I have from OGX. Now this one, I just, I was watching, I think, Coffee with Danny, and she was like, this just smells so good. Cause this wasn't on my list to get. And this is the Extra Creamy Plus Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash. And like I said, since it's getting so hard to find these things, I saw it, it was, uh, I think I had like a discount from Target. So I just went ahead and got it. This is nice, but it doesn't blow my mind. It just smells like a creamy, good coconut scent. Yeah, maybe in the shower. I mean, I'm glad I have it. I know I'm gonna use it. It's a nice coconut scent, but my favorite out of the OGX that I purchased, I would have to say these two are loves for me. I've used this one. I can tell I'm going to like this because it's a candy smell to me and I'm all about that. Okay, I love Olay body wash. I don't hear many people talking about Olay body washes too much, but I do enjoy them. Usually you just hear Dove, 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 Dove. Well, y'all, I saw this Olay Fresh Outlast watermelon and agave i haven't smelled this but i saw watermelon and i was like it needs to be mine because i love watermelon so let's see if i like it oh y'all okay 
If you know that pink watermelon scent from Bath and Body Works that came out during the summer, was the SAS, the summer SAS? This smells like that, but y'all, it smells better, okay? This is good. So this is making me, it's a another new one that came out, I can't remember. Oh, it's a melon or something. It's making me want to go get that one because this one smells so good. But I'm going, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, we're not going to use up some stuff. So the last body wash that I have is this Pacifica Strawberry and Peach Body Wash. Now, I read the notes to this and I bought this specifically along with this lotion from Ulta. They, it was, they had some deal going on because I think this will pair well with my Versace red jeans. I have I have a mist I love to pair with it, but I've always having trouble finding a lotion that I love with it. And I was reading reviews about this and how it smelled, and I said, I think this will go with it. So let's see. And it does. This is peachy with that fruity strawberry, uh, scent to it now versace red jeans to me is cherry with peach undertones but i think it the body wash and a lotion and that other it's uh bad that body works fragrance mist i love to pair with red jeans but i couldn't i found a semi-annual sale couldn't find anything else but the mist is it sunset by the pool or something like that but i think the the these pro i'm getting so excited i'm stuttering these products along with the mist and the red jeans, I can't wait. Yay! Okay, so this is another watching hygiene videos and TikTok videos. They say this is the best smelling lotion that was ever created. <laughs> so I have been actually wanting to try some OGX, not OGX, some EOS lotions. But I always have a ton of Victoria's Secret and a ton of Bath and Body Works lotion that I was like, no, I don't need that. But I just couldn't resist you all. So, and like I said, it was selling out everywhere. So I got the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. And this is with vanilla, soft musk, and cozy caramel. So let's see. Is this the, going to be the best lotion I've ever smelled? It's good, y'all. But let me tell you, this smells like vanilla bean oil. It smells like vanilla bean oil. <sighs> so I'm out of my body cream for vanilla bean oil. So um, I guess, now I will say, Hold on. Sometimes vanilla bean oil, which I think I got tired of and why it took me 10 years to want the scent again, can sometimes have a plasticky undertone of sugar smell. I don't know if I'm ex uh, explaining that right. I don't get that from this. I get a little bit more caramel in this. So I'm excited to wear this because I wanted to use up Vanilla Bean Noel before spring. We all know what's gonna happen, but I definitely before summer. I, will, I don't want that in my collection because it comes out every year. So I will be using this lotion with my mist. And I, I don't know if it's the best, but it's good. It's, it's, it's a good smelling lotion. I gotta give it to them, it's good. All right, so this is another item that I've had on my list for years, but I was like, I have this, I have that to use up, I'm not going to get it. I just decided to go for it this year, and this is the Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Scrub. I was like, this is perfect for spring. I have been wanting this forever. Oh, it's just so feminine rosy pretty pretty that that's just how this smells to me i can't wait yay all right let's see what do i want to do next we're going to save the fragrance for last so 
I like to use these spongibles, these petty scrub spongibles, but especially going into uh, spring, summer. So my other one is like on its last leg. So I just wanted to re-up. So I decided to get this one and I wanted to get the pink one, but y'all the clean and fresh scent, this is my favorite. So even though I, oh, knowing me, I'll probably get the pink one too on another little, not Sephora, Ulta order, but the, this one smells the best to me. It's the freshest. And for your feet, you want your feet to be smelling really fresh anyway. But I'll probably end up getting the pink sponge too because it, it's me. So this is um, Aussie Flora Aura Scent Boost with Australian Jasmine Flower. And this is a hair perfume. I have been looking for this. It's been out of stock everywhere. I've been looking for this for months. It finally came back in stock and I was like, this is the perfect time to get it for spring. This smells like candy floral. That's what it smells like, candy flowers. That's what it smells like. I'm happy I have it. And I have purchased another one that I'm gonna save for summer. I saw it um, at Walmart in the clearance section. So I know these work because that one is strong and lasted in my hair really well. So before I get to the fragrance, I have two utensils I'm excited about. And so this is um, a body scrubber brush that I ordered from Amazon. And I just wanted to try one and I'm gonna redo my bathroom soon for spring. Oh, this is pretty and it's pink. So I just wanted to see how I liked it on my skin because Living Ash mentioned this. So I just wanted to give it a try. And I also decided to go ahead and get a silicone body, uh, not body, yes, bath and body brush. But this is a silicone back brush. And I, on the website, it, this looked pinker, but hey, it'll go. This looks to me more lilac than pink. And this looks pink, so pink and purple, hey! <laughs> Keeping my theme alive and going, okay? Ooh, I got one more thing, y'all, that's uh, not perfume. My bad, sorry. So I did a Sephora order because I had uh, Sephora cash I needed to use before it expired. And I got a face serum. And when I was getting my face serum, I saw this new lotion that they just released. And this is Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. And I love the Glow Recipe products. That's the serum I got for my face. And this is Tate. I was reading reviews and, I, and they said, this lotion smells just like the face products and they smell delicious. So this is the lotion, this beautiful pink bottle. And let's see how it smells. Oh, it smells just like the serum and everything, the sleeping mask, that beautiful candy watermelon scent. Oh my goodness, you all, this, okay, can I get it back in? This smells so good. And I never, hardly ever get products right when they come out because I always have products and I'm always trying to use stuff up. But these two, oh my goodness. If you like the way Glow Recipe smells, you're gonna like the Olay and you're gonna love this. If you like the way the serum smells, the sleeping mask, I'm so glad. Because at first I was like, well, Shawnee, so you don't need the lotion. But I just said, you know what? I have this money, this cash I have to use. It's going to be deeply discounted. I'm glad I got it. Love it. I mean, let me double check. Okay, y'all. So those are all of the hygiene products. So now to the fragrance. So I'm going to start with one that I already know how it smells and I only have three fragrances here this is not a big fragrance haul I don't even know if I'm gonna have one of those we shall see but this is 
philosophy, pure grace. And if I don't know what order these videos are going up, but I said in my uh, spring products I'm looking forward to that I found the scrub, Pure Grace Scrub in TJ Maxx. And I was like, it has been on my list for years, but I never, everything always came ahead of it. I always chose something else over it until I smelled that scrub and I fell in love all over again. And this set was on Macy's and I had um, some star money. No, is this a star money order? I don't know. But this comes with your shower gel, perfume, and the body lotion. And I have the scrub. And I decided to go ahead and get the fragrance mist because I've been, I've, this is stuff that's been on my list for years. So I have the full Pure Grace line and I can't wait because y'all, it just, if you don't know how it smells, think of how you, just a fresh, clean, attractive woman. That's what it smells like to me. You're just clean. You can tell you take care of yourself. You smell like you take care of yourself. That's what Pure Grace smells like to me. And you all, I finally, because I had that star cash, decided to purchase a Joe Malone fragrance, okay? This has been on my list forever. And that is the wood, sage, and sea salt perfume. Now this, woo, now this is just the one ounce. Y'all, I don't even know. If I go to town using, I'm going to say, this packaging is on point. That's why I don't even know why I'm putting it back together because I'm going to put this stuff up now. But look at that. That, that packaging is so good. I'm gonna go through that one ounce in a second. But I, I just use it, I got the one ounce because you know I had the star rewards and one using my money, so hey. Okay, so the last fragrance I have here is one that was on my list. I have never smelled this, this is a blind buy and I'm really excited to smell it because I knew I wanted it for spring and so. This is by the brand Floral Street, and this is Wonderland Peony. And this is how it came packaged. And this is my first thing ever from Floral Street. I don't think I've ever smelled anything from this brand. So this is the one I was really interested in. So let's see, pull it down like that. Okay, it's taste. Okay, so that means they're really protecting your fragrance. That's good. So it comes like that. Mine's a little dusty. Okay. And then here's how it looks inside. No top comes with this. Oh, that is a top. Okay. Like that. Because I'm about to go, excuse me. You know how I am with my tops. So let's spray. Okay. Ooh. I like this. Oh, it's pretty. I don't know the notes or anything. But this is like, I'm getting florals. I'm also picking up citrus, but like a syrupy citrus. Think of warm, fresh, candied, I guess it's that peony, candied peony. in a beautiful, I don't want, this is Wonderland, cause I, it's got some woodiness to it too, but think of like a um, candy, beautiful, 
like you see in a fairy tale forest with citrus. I don't know what citrus note that is. With like candied citrus notes where everything is blooming and beautiful and just sweet and delicious. I can't wait to wear this on my skin and see how it performs on my skin because, oh, I love that. And so here's the packaging. I don't even know if I showed you. And it only comes in the 1.7 ounce, the 50 mil. But this is nice. So I am glad I got that. I'm just on a blind buy roll, okay? Cause now I'm blind buying soap because <laughs> I'm not smelling in the store. If I go in the store, I'm not one to pull my mask down and smell. And like I say, in Texas, this mask about to go away. I'm not gonna be in stores often at all because mm -mm. So I have been blind buying everything y'all. And so far I'm doing really, really, really good, okay? So with Macy's, with this order, I got a like fragrance box. So let's see what's in here and see if I want to smell some. Because this is supposed to be the best smelling fragrances. So I got La Via Belle, Victor and Rolf Flower Balm, Ralph Lauren Romance. I got my way. I smelled this in Ulta, but it, the bottle was empty. So I was just kind of doing like that because you're not supposed to, you know, and I was kind of waving it and it smelled like I liked it, but I couldn't tell. So I'm about to, we about to test this one out because Ralph Lauren Romance, mm -mm, I, I, tend, I don't tend to like Ralph Lauren fragrances. So I'll try that one out, but this video has pretty, been pretty long. La Via Belle, everyone knows how that smells. Flower Bomb, I have that. And the other, oh, I got Valentino Volce Vida. Is it Vida or Viva? Oh, it's Viva. So both of these, I have, the, the bottle was empty in Ulta the last time I was in there too, and I was doing it back and forth trying to smell it. So y'all, let's do this. We're gonna start with Armani My Way, because both of these, it seems to be either you love it or you just think it's just not worthy of your nose. <laughs> it's just basic. So let's see what I think of Armani My Way. Ooh. Okay. This will be one I have to wear on my skin. It smells sweet and floral, but there's a sharpness to it. What is this? Uh, bergamot, orange blossom, two rose, jasmine, cedarwood, white musk, and vanilla. It smells like something I've smelled before. Like it's nice. I don't think I'm liking the cedarwood in this. I don't think I'm liking that. Yeah, it's nice, but it's not making me say, let me buy it. And I was about to blind buy this. Like, this is in my Ulta card because I'm getting ready to have Ulta, <clears throat> excuse me, points I can cash in to get some perfume. I don't know, y'all. So, this is one I, it's nice, but is it something I feel like I need to buy right now from the paper? It's a no. But like I said, you got to try stuff on your skin, wear it out, and then I will make my final decision. If you'll see it in a haul, who knows? So it, I'm excited to smell Valentino because like I said, some people love this. Oh my goodness, why can't I remember her name? Opinionated Sense. She said this reminded her of Toy 2. And y'all know I love Toy 2. So, let's see what I think of Volce Viva. Okay, this is good. 
but this smells like something I have. I can see her saying it reminds her of Toy 2. To me, Toy 2 is more casual, fun, bright. I, th I just think summer fun, you know, with Toy 2. This one, I feel it's a little bit more elevated, a little bit more upscale. I like this. I was trying to see if they had the fragrance notes. It says a couture and feminine bouquet of white flowers that gives Italian tradition a contemporary edge. So right now, just smelling My Way and Volce Viva on paper, if you had to tell me which one I would spend my money on right now, it would be the Valentino fragrance. Even though I don't know if I would just go buy it because it reminds me of the scent of it reminds me of fragrances I think I have in my collection. So I don't know if I would need to add this if it was different enough to warrant spending that money and, you know, adding another fragrance. But I do like it. So... I'm liking the Valentino, but I have to wear them both to see. But first impressions, I really like the uh, Valentino perfume. All right, you all. So that was my spring hygiene beauty haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're ready for spring like I am, Please leave in the comments below. Tell me, have you been doing some hygiene shopping, doing some little spring shopping, getting ready, you know? Share this video with anyone you think would enjoy it. And please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every single time I upload a video. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.